Hello, viewers. Yes, your Ranjana ma'am is back again and act three, scene five. The last one of Merchant of Venice because I have already done act four, scene one and two combined and act five, scene one. So only two scenes were remaining of which I did act three, scene four. And now this is act three, scene five for you all. And that completes the journey of Merchant of Venice. All my videos are there in my YouTube channel. So you can take your time and go through all of them. But please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the like button after you have watched it because I know you will like it. Now let's, without wasting any more time, let's get back. This is again Belmont and a garden leading up to Portia's house. Enter Launcelot and Jessica. See, Jessica, Launcelot and Lorenzo, they are all in Belmont. Launcelot, yes, truly, for look you, the sins of the father are to be laid upon the children. I was always plain with you, so now I speak my agitation of the matter. Therefore, be of good cheer, for truly I think you are damned. So, Launcelot and Jessica, since Launcelot used to work in Jessica's house. They are quite friendly. Jessica called him a merry devil, remember? So they are quite frank and friendly with each other. So Launcelot is teasing Jessica. He is telling, yes, yes, it has been seen that children are punished for the sins committed by their father. So I promise you, I fear you. So I promise you, I am afraid of what might take place with you. I was always plain with you means I was always frank with you. I spoke you, always spoke to you my mind. So I am also now telling you about my, actually it should not be agitation. He has mistaken, you know, Launcelot is in the habit of mixing up words. So he means to say cogitation or thought. So I want to tell you my thought on this matter. Therefore, be of good cheer, for truly I think you are damned. So be happy because I think you are damned. Achha, when someone is damned, why should that person feel happy? So this is Launcelot. Jessica, I shall be saved by my husband. He had made me a Christian. So Jessica doesn't get angry. She rather enjoys it. And she tells that my husband is there to save me. Why? Because he has made me a Christian. So I don't remain Shylock's daughter anymore. I am now Jessica Lorenzo's wife and a Christian. Truly, the more to blame he. We were Christians in now before, even as, as many as could well live by one another. This making of Christians will raise the price of hogs. We, if we all grow to be pork eaters, we shall not shortly have a rasher on the coals for money. So now Launcelot teases Jessica and says that he will have to be blamed all the more. Why? Because already we are so many Christians. We don't need to make any more Christians. And now if new Christians, if Christians, uh, people are converted to Christianity, it will raise the price of hogs. That means the price of pigs will become expensive. And a time will come when we will be unable to get any money, um, unable to get even a small piece of bacon to cook on the fire. That means converting to Christianity will raise the number of Christians. And as such, when there will be so many Christians, a time will come when meat will become so expensive that a small piece of meat also would be difficult to buy. Enter Lorenzo. So Jessica, na, like the children say when they quarrel, they say, we'll tell her, I'll tell my mom. So he, she's telling, I'll tell my husband. I'll tell my husband, Launcelot, what you say. Here he comes. So Launcelot, I'm going to complain to my husband about what you are saying. And just see, he's coming. So Lorenzo comes and he sees Jessica and Launcelot standing close to each other and talking. So he knows they are very good friends. He's just teasing. He's not a suspicious husband. So he says, I shall grow jealous of you shortly, Launcelot. So Launcelot, soon I'll grow jealous of you. So what does Jessica say? So in a very light manner, she also assures him. Nay, you need not fear us, Lorenzo. Launcelot and I are out. 
He tells me flatly, there is no mercy for me in heaven because I am a Jew's daughter. And he says, you are no good member of the commonwealth for in converting Jews to Christians, you raise the price of pork. So Jessica assures Lorenzo, Lorenzo, don't worry. Launcelot and I, we have just quarreled. And he has told me clearly that I don't have any chance of going to heaven. Why? Because I'm a Jew's daughter. I'm Shylock's daughter. And he also blames you. He says you are not a good member of the Christian commonwealth. Why? Because you have converted me to Christianity. And as such, you have raised the price of pork. So after this, there are three lines which have been cut by the ICSC uh, in the ICSC syllabus. These three lines are not there. And so only the last line of Lorenzo's speech is there. Go in Syrah, bid them prepare for dinner. So he orders Lorenzo, but he speaks a wrong line. He says, bid them prepare for dinner. That means that tell them to get ready for dinner. But he means to say, tell them to prepare dinner. But he says, tell them to get ready for dinner as if to eat dinner. And Launcelot is clever enough and quick enough to catch the mistake. So what does he say? That is done, sir. They have all stomachs. So they are already prepared for their dinner. They all have an appetite. So Lorenzo understands his mistake and he says, goodly Lord, what a witch snapper are you? Then bid them prepare dinner. Oh my God, you are such a witty fellow. Okay, now tell them to prepare dinner, to make dinner ready. That is done too, sir. Only cover is the word. Yes, sir, that has already been done. Cover the table means to put the food on the table. So he says only putting the food on the table is needed. Will you cover then, sir? Again, he catches Lorenzo. So Lorenzo says, will you cover then, sir? So he means to say that Lorenzo, uh, Launcelot should cover the table with food. But Launcelot deliberately takes it in the other sense. In this sense, cover means covering the head. Covering the head with a, cat or a, a cap or a hat is not done when you are standing in front of a superior. So Launcelot takes it in that sense deliberately only to tease Lorenzo. And he says, no, no, sir, neither I know my duty. So no, I can't cover myself. That means I can't cover my head. I know my duty. That means he is subordinate to Lorenzo. So how can he cover his head and stand in front of him? So Lorenzo is really exasperated. So he says, yet more quarreling with occasion. Wilt thou sh uh, show the whole wealth of thy wit in an instant? I pray thee, understand the plain man in his plain meaning. Go to thy fellows, bid them cover the table, serve in the meat and we will come to dinner. Oh my God, still you are arguing about uh, in a witty manner. So are you going to show all your wit in one single moment? So please understand me. I am a plain man and I am speaking in a plain language. Go to the other servants, tell them to spread the food on the table, carry in the meat and we will come to dinner. Again, Launcelot will deliberately confuse everything, mix up everything. For the table, sir, it shall be served in. But Lorenzo had said, serve the meat and cover the table. But he's telling, for the table, sir, it shall be served in. For the meat, sir, it shall be covered. For you are coming into dinner. Why? Let it be as humors and conceit shall govern. So, yes, sir, we will carry in the table. No, Lorenzo had not said anything wrong this time. He had said, bring in the meat and cover the table. But he's telling we'll carry the uh, table and spread the meat. Hmm. And for your coming to dinner, let it be according to your own wishes and inclinations. And so he leaves. Lorenzo is really impressed. And he says, oh, dear discretion, how his words are suited. The fool hath planted in his memory an army of good words. And I do know of many fools that stand in better place, garnished like him, that for a tricksy word, defy the matter. So Lorenzo is very impressed and he says, oh my God, what discretion, how nicely or cleverly he chooses his words. He calls Lorenzo a fool, don't think fool means a foolish fellow. In Shakespeare's 
times fool was supposed to be or in his dramas the fool was supposed to be the most intelligent person who made fool of others rather the jesters so he calls lorenzo a fool who has got a good amount of words in his vocabulary and he says that i know many fools who enjoy a much higher position but they have a similar stock that means they have a similar stock like launcelot but they are enjoying a much higher position and these people will deliberately ignore a meaning because they can provide another double meaning like lorenz launcelot did here and then he asks how cheerest thou jessica jessica how are you and now good sweet say thy opinion how dost thy like the lord bassanio's wife and then he asks jessica's opinion about portia lord bassanio's wife portia past all expressing that means i can can't find the appropriate word to express my feelings for portia it is very meet the lord bassanio live an upright life so it is very desirable or it is very necessary that lord bassanio should lead a very upright life no flirting nothing he should be a, leading a very true life why for having such a blessing in his lady he finds the joys of heaven here on earth yes having a wife like portia is like enjoying the bliss of heaven on earth and if on earth he do not merit it in reason he should never come to heaven and if he does not merit it while he is in earth he should never come that means if he plays false to her if he doesn't value portia he should never go to heaven why if two gods very important this portion many times it comes in your exam why if two gods should play some heavenly match and on the wager lay two earthly women and portia one there must be something else pawned with the other for the poor rude world had not her, had not her fellow so he she is telling that if two gods were to play a game where you need to put a wager huh? like uh, if i lose i give you 50 rupees if you lose you give me 50 rupees this is a wager so if one of the god puts portia as the wager the other god he cannot just put any lady he has to do he has to put something along with that lady why because both the wages should be of equal value and portia is unparalleled so no lady can be equal to her so with the lady something else also has to be pawned if two gods play wager and one of them put portia as her bet even such a husband has has thou of me as she is for a wife so lorenzo is teasing jessica and telling yes jessica you have a husband similar to portia that means portia is unparalleled and as a husband i am unparalleled nay but ask my opinion of that or two of that so yes but you should also ask me i will anand first let us go to dinner yes i shall consult you soon but first let us go and have the dinner nay let me please you while i have a stomach no no let me please uh, pra praise you so long as i have the wish or the inclination to please you no lord rezo says no pray thee let it serve for table talk no 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 don't say it now let it wait for the dinner table while we are having dinner you can speak your mind about me why because while having my food i can digest it so he knows that she might not have some good words for him so with the good food i can digest your words then howsoever you speakest thou speakest among other things i shall digest it so while having my dinner it doesn't matter what i say why because i will eat it along with the good food means i will swallow it or digest it with the good food well i'll set you forth yes i will set forth your different qualities so this is where act 3 scene 5 ends and also act 3 comes to an end and with this as i said my journey of merchant of venice comes to an end i have done all the scenes so i think you don't have any more problems in merchant of venice and if you still do the comment section is there i will try to go through it and solve your problems because after this 
in my next videos i will try to discuss and show you how to handle the questions better in order to get the highest possible marks so goodbye for the time being and have a nice time